It's a popular kit anyway, but again, exciting style. In the lightweight division. Introducing to you, firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the black blue shorts, trimmed with white and blue. And the way he scaled nine stone, eight pounds. Tonight is his 59th appearance in a professional ring. He comes to the ring as a three-time Southern Area and two weight division champion from King Stainton, Devon, the genius, Jamie Spain. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the white blue shorts, trimmed with black, and the silver spangled effect at the weight he scaled nine stone seven pounds from three contests he has three wins presenting from Oldham the undefeated Aki Fia <laughs> timekeeper at the belt Chris O'Connor from uh, Manchester and the referee Darren Sargent and also from Manchester six three minute rounds <laughs> Certainly no, uh, no step down in the competition for Akib Fiyaz. You know, he's, he's had some good matches so far. You know, ben Field looks like a great win now after what Ben's done. And a former area champion here in Jamie Spate in just these four fights, Stacey. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's a good test, this, for just this fourth fight, I think. But, you know, I think he knows, knows where he's going. Like I said, having that amateur pedigree really helps, doesn't it? It kind of gives, gives that advantage that he's got that background. His last fight was... Uh, World War Three at Oldham Sports <laughs> Centre. He, he got dropped quickly and you know bounced back up and, and went to war. The atmosphere was fantastic that night. He, he brings uh, a, you know a great group of fans with him. He, as, as I say, he's a dead popular popular fighter in terms of exciting to watch. But he's a dead popular kid as well. He's, he's a really nice kid and he was dead popular in the amateurs as well. It's one of them that everywhere he went, everyone knows him and is it, he looked really sharp in the warm up upstairs. Just uh, watching him warming up before and on the pads with uh, Nigel Travis, obviously, and really looked sharp. But there's preparation going, look at that, Jimmy's in and he's just been over in Las Vegas with Cal Frampton, he, he, he doesn't get much better, does he? You know, he's no, and I think as well, top. being around fighters like that, it, 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 you know, it makes you hungry and make, you know, lets you see what is possible, you know, what you can do. Landed a great body shot there, he did, yeah, left he up to the body. Just touched him up. I felt that one. Went down, <laughs> he? Looks a lot calmer tonight. Definitely. And it's difficult when you're the opponent when because he has that that low lead hand, and it can be uh, tough to know where the jabs. You know, it's a different angle coming at you. It's a uh, it's a tricky style to fight against sometimes. Yeah, it should be razor sharp here, Akib Fiaz, and so far so good. Plenty of variety whenever you see him, and looks like he's continuing that tonight. Yeah, it's just good the way he's edging in as well, and. You know, he's not, not diving in, he's not being erratic. He's, I think he's uh, landing some quality shots, edging his way in. It's uh, quality work, this. Yeah, it looks... Uh, you can see the difference since uh, the first two or three fights of his career. It looks poised, he's, nothing's being rushed, he's just waiting for Very the right Very economical, isn't he, with his, uh, with his movement? Economical just walking him down, right. he's uh, cutting the ring off well, edging in. And then, once he gets there, he's picking his shots, and his shot selection's good. Yeah, nice calm look on his face. Definitely. It's composed performance, this, it's, uh, it's good, it's quality stuff. I think this is exactly what they wanted. I remember Nigel Travis said in the last one, he was shaking his head afterwards, he got caught up that in such a wild brawl, but we'll be much, much happier with this one. And that's the thing, you can't get the experience without getting it, can you? It's, that's all yeah. part and parcel of it. That's what this phase of the career is about. And like, like you say, go, you know, going out to Vegas and that, it's a fantastic experience, not just to see, you know, for that inspiration, see what can be done, but also the different types of styles that you'll be sparring and stuff. It's, it's great for him. Really good round. It was a great opening round. Happy like we How about you, Stacey? What have you got coming up? Um, well, I've, um, oh, I've, had a, I've had a nightmare with, with injuries the last um, sort of year. Um, I had the, the tendon in my hand repaired after the Commonwealth title fight, and then I had to have a surgery on my knee earlier this year. So I've just gradually built back up, and uh, the sparring's going really well now. So next week we're moving up to two spars. Um, and then obviously you've got a bit of a natural break over Christmas, but we'll, we'll obviously carry on training. And then from January we're going to uh, really step it up and you know, 
know, hopefully we'll uh, be able to look at a fight date then. So uh, just uh, really can't wait to be back in there. It's horrible being injured. Yeah, it's, it's, I've got, I can't imagine, you know, when, when it's all you want to do for a living and you can't do it and you're having to watch other people getting lots of attention and women's boxing's taken off, hasn't it? It must be so frustrating not to be able to capitalise. Absolutely, and at my age, time's not on my side either, so I <laughs> need to crack on and do what I can. It just looks like he's, he, when Spade comes forward, he just looks like he's got that right hand cocked, just ready to, to counter him with a straight right hand, doesn't he? He has, but I also think he's really good at, uh, keep, you know, keeping the, the range that's comfortable for him. He's dictating everything. He's dictating the pace. He's dictating the distance. You know, as soon as he sort of, you know, Spade comes forward, he's, he's stepping back and creating that distance again and stepping back in when he wants. He's, he's just, you know, doing really well at controlling the range here, I think. A nice little uh, short uppercuts as well. One Fiaz got inside, and there's another one. That one rocks bait. You can tell he's there, really Stacey. shooting, uh, you know, um, being picky with his shots, and he's, it's, he's really measured and, and thoughtful about the, the shots that he's uh, landing. Really yeah. good shot selection. This there's a stoppage here for Akib Fiaz if he, if he picks his punches right. I think Spate was just hurt there on the ropes, but he didn't rush in again. Fiaz, I wonder if he's under strict orders tonight. I think so, and that's another thing about having, I mean, he's got quality, quality coaches in his corner, haven't he, with Travis and Jamie Moore, obviously, who've uh, been there and seen it and done it all, haven't they? So, uh, that, you know, that helps massively as well, having the right people, giving you the right advice, and that'll help, that'll help him learn from that last experience, because they'll know how to use it to guide him and improve him. See, defensively, took took well there as well, didn't he? Yeah, there's not many gaps at all for Spade, is there? No, that's good because he's, he's, you know, even when he's not got the range and he's on the inside, he's, he's tucking up really well. And just choosing when to counter rather than feeling like he's got a counter yeah, every time. Yeah, he's completely dictating everything in the fight, which is exactly how it should be, and that's what they'll want to see from the corner. I like the little, uh, not strictly in my rules, but Spade came in with his head forward there and Akib just elbowed him off and just got his distance back. Nice little, uh, nice little trick. That's another thing that's part of it, isn't it? Learning how to deal with all Learning those little tricks. tricks that are, <laughs> it's all part of it, not letting it get to your head and just knowing. What do we call it? The black magic. <laughs> the, the stuff that's not strictly legal but very useful. My dad used to pull all that out in, when we used to spar together. <laughs> he used to say, you're cheating. He used to go, oh, no, that's what you do. I was like, no, in. <laughs> Wrenching your elbow in, in the little clinches yeah. and rubbing his head and things yeah, like that. Yeah, a little cheat. <laughs> Spate's very wary of what's coming back his way here, isn't he? He is, but still he's not diving in, Akib. He's still keeping the distance, keeping the range and being thoughtful about the shots that he's, uh, he's choosing, which is great. Been a great performance, this. Especially on the back of, like you say, you know, he maybe made some mistakes in the last one. He's clearly really learnt from him, which is exactly what the corner will want to see in a young fighter. You look back, he turned pro, I think it was March. Had a, you know, the debut's a debut, isn't it? It's sold a load of tickets, it's a big atmosphere. Fought well, and then he fought Ben Fields, who's been turning over prospect after prospect. And Akib was going up, giving away a lot of weight there, and he beat Ben. And that now looks like a real meaningful win. You know, I think that shows what Akib can do. So it's, it's been a good, a good first year. He's learned a lot and he's improved. That's, I think that's the most important thing. Absolutely, and he's, he's got everything he needs to you know, to keep, like I say, he's part of a fantastic camp with quality boxers, which raises your level. He's got great coaches and, you know, he's, he's got a, a great manager as well. And, you know, this is the platform, isn't it, VIP, for to launch, a, a, you know, a, a young boxer's, uh, young prospect's career who's ambitious and dedicated. But we've seen what can happen, you know, it can yeah. can project them to where they want to go. So he's got everything, everything he needs in the right place. So looking good, really is. Still to come tonight, we've got uh, Bradley Ray, we've got Jake Barton, we've got James Moorcroft, Ken Gardner, we've also got Rhiannon Dixon, Stacey. Uh, Rhiannon, He's well impressed with her debut, exactly, it really yeah, she, was, yeah, I was very she impressed. She had people talking, Rhiannon, you know, she came from nowhere, but were you, imp you were impressed by her I debut. was very impressed by her, and I know that she's been uh, sparring with uh, Natasha Jonas, who I've yeah. done quite a lot of sparring with, and obviously, I, you know, I was with Tasha um, at the Europeans and the Worlds for... England, I've known her a long time, and she, you know she's a quality fighter. So that will have been really, really good sparring for Rhiannon at this at this stage of her career as well. To you know, she will have learnt a lot from those. So she's had some great preparation for this. Oh, a beautiful little um, massive body shot. That. 
body shot. There's a counter left hook about 30 seconds ago as well, which sent Spike reeling backwards. Really been impressed with the the range, the distance, the composure, and certainly the, the shot selection by Akeeb tonight. I think it's been superb. It's a really, really good performance. Yeah, don't forget, hashtag uh, VIP Boxing Live. Send uh, your questions, comments, whatever you want to send in on Facebook. We'll read everything out. We're after the nearly past the nine o'clock watershed, so send anything in you want. Thoughts on Akib Fiaz? I think he's actually stepping up the intensity here a bit, to be honest. Because as I say, he's dictating the pace and he's, he's, he's forcing him to, uh, he's forcing Spate to have to come back with something a bit here, but I think he's stepped it up here, Akib. Yeah, I wonder if they're just um, making box to orders for a couple of two or three rounds and then let him off a leash if he in the final one if he if he senses that Spate might be able to get be got out of there. Yeah, I definitely think he's stepped up the intensity a bit there and Spate had to come back with something then. Settled a bit again now, but he's just got a nice little uh, acknowledgement there for that uppercut. Just hit his chin behind his shoulder, came back with a right uppercut, just a little classy, classy Oof, move. That was a great shot. Wobbled him a bit there. He's having to uh, dance about a bit now and try and get out of the way in his spate. He's having to use the whole ring. It's going to feel pretty small at the minute. Cause he's not uh, letting him off the hook, is he? He's right in front of him. There's no safe place for Jamie Spate tonight, is he? He's putting range. the ring off really well, Akeem. If he's at range, Akeem's dictating. If, if, if Jamie punches, he's getting counter punch and inside, he's getting, uh, he's getting eaten alive, really, by Akeem with the uppercuts. So no, hate, no safe place for Jamie Spate tonight. He's not giving him any... Uh, not giving him an inch at the minute, is he? Last few seconds of uh, round number th three. Six rounder here for Akib Fiaz. I think because his uh, countering's been pretty on point as well, he's, he's a bit reluctant to throw straight as well. You know, when he's, he's coming, he's falling a bit short with that jab at times, not committing to it. And that's because Akib's been so effective with the counters as well. Yeah, he's worried about what's coming back, isn't he? Jamie Moore's very happy there, isn't he? You can tell, very relaxed corner. Some team, Kerry Kay's putting the Vaseline on and Nigel Travis just watching today. He's a legend, isn't he? <laughs> Kerry's, um, Kerry's been in, done my corner a, a couple of times and he's just, uh, like that calmness that he brings, it's, uh, it's really good. Loves it, Gary, doesn't he? He's brilliant. He's just brilliant to have with you in the changing rooms because, like I say, he's, he's dead calm, he's relaxed, he can have a laugh, he kind of, you know, it just puts you at ease before the fight, you know, and he's great in the corner as well. Even simple stuff like when you get back to the corner, he'll just go, breathe, breathe, you know, and sort of calm you down again. He's, he's great to have around, oh, really is. Kerry, for someone who's done what he's done, not, not just in the boxing, but in the bodybuilding and everything, I think there's no ego, is there? No. No ego, you know. He's, he's behind us, though, so... Look, he's, he's waiting for a compliment here behind us. <laughs> Not going to get one. <laughs> nah, he's great. He's got uh, El Feroz on the back of his shorts. That's the old Fernando Vargas nickname, the ferocious one. But uh, it's been controlled today from Akib Fiaz, and it's been all the better for it. It's been really, really good. I like the little right uppercut he throws. Nice. I think when he watches this back, he'll uh, he'll be well uh, well impressed with his own performance as well. I think. Just Tell like what, when he whips them body shots in yeah, there, the, you know they're telling them, aren't they? Jamie's marked up, isn't he? You know, he's wide-eyed, he's been dancing about as much as he can. <laughs> Just trying, trying, to, trying to use every inch of the canvas. Don't blame him either. Equivalent of a team time wasting, isn't it? You know, he's, yeah. he's just counting down the seconds in his it's head. It's good because he keeps still. He's not diving in. He's waiting till till he stops, and then he's throwing his shots and, and picking picking great shots as well. It's nice that uppercut. Yeah, I think that's a beautiful stinging jab as well. The uppercut's been a. A standout punch for Akib tonight. It has, and he drops his shoulder really well before he throws it. Gets it, it 
like that. It's great leverage on it. And they hurt them. <laughs> They're horrible of the cuts. <laughs> He's using a lot of energy up, isn't he? Dan dancing about his plate, and the keeps very calm, economical, just walking him down, edging in. He is, and there's two and a half rounds to go for Jamie. You know, it's, it's a tough night's work, this. It really is. He'll do well to see the end, won't he? I think so. I think, I think you know, at any point, the keep can step up the intensity if he, if he chooses to. Talks a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> Chattering back to him, like you think he'd have other doing things more to worry commentary about, than us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'd, I'd be more worried about other things than, than throwing insults at him. <laughs> I think he's complimenting him more when he throws <laughs> when he lands a good shot. But a sign of just how highly Jamie and the team rate Akib Fiaz that they take these fights for him. Absolutely, yeah. You know, just four fights in, he's six rounds against an area champion and beat good fighters already, been put in above his weight and because they're confident he'll come through. And, um, I think that's a really good thing though as well. Yeah. I think sometimes there is a, a bit of a danger in, um, it, you know, in fighting, you know, in not having enough fights where they, where they challenge you because I think they can get out of that mentality and, you know, every, every fight not challenge you, I don't, when, when you then have to step up. Yeah. I don't think it's always a good thing because obviously you come from the amateurs where everybody has to box anybody. You know, if you go into the into the ABAs, you know, it's you get it, you get draw, absolutely. It? If you go to international level, you know, you could get an Olympian or one of the best in the world, and, and you accept that. You just turn up, you fight, you learn from it. Whatever the result is, it's a bit different in the pros, obviously. But I think if you know if the fights are too easy, it, it doesn't. You know, it's not building that mentality and that yeah. resilience, is it, for getting through those tough fights? So I think it's good that he's had a few of these challenges a difficult balance to strike isn't it yeah. to not have too much too soon but uh, obviously he's doing him well because he's improving loads isn't he so it's obviously working there's no real learning as such as well when the fight's so easy because what you do in the first fight will work in the second third and fourth whereas the way Jakub's been bought on he's, he's had to learn and had to come up with new things for every fight I think they've got the matchmaking spot on it's uh, obviously developing him Nice little switch of feet and switch of angles there to on the left to the body. That left up to a pit of a stomach can be a killer, can't it, if, if that lands properly. Horrible. You can't tell as much when you sat further away, but from inside, you can really feel yeah. those shots when they sink in. You just tried that again. If you're at home watching, just, just watch for next time Jamie's on the ropes. I keep just switching his feet and, and looking for that left up to the right to the pit of a stomach. He's, he's landed it twice in this round already. I think he's there doing well mixing up body and head on the ropes as well because he is pretty, pretty tucked up on the ropes, mate, and he is quite, quite difficult to break down. So I think he's doing a really good job of it. You know, going upstairs, downstairs, mixing it up, it's, uh, it's good. He is. And like sometimes he's just done a touch to the head, but then sunk it into the body, and that's that's good having that uh, that variety as well. I don't think he's going to be feeling great tomorrow. All the way back to Devon. I th Unbelievable what, what these journeymen do, isn't it? Oh, I think Incredible. about every single week, you know, you sit at ringside and you watch these guys, you see the same people turn up week after week, and I, I can't get over it, really. You know, Jamie Spay will be back out. I'm not sure, you Christmas coming up, but ordinarily be back out next week, wouldn't he? Doing yeah, the exact tough. same thing again. They really are tough. I don't think people appreciate what they, uh, what they actually do. It's a, it's a real skill, being a good journeyman. It really is. Combining that uppercut now, we're just getting his feet out and, and switching the angle, just giving Spate something else to worry about. Turned him quite well there, to be fair. He did. Having to pull out all the tricks here, I think, <laughs> tie him up. Move around, keep moving. He's definitely having to try everything in it to keep him off him. Yeah, if if a kid does goes on to do what we we think he might, Jamie Spake can keep playing that little uh, two second clip there where he spun him off the ropes the rest of his life, can he? <laughs> yeah. I mean, to, from a journeyman's point of view, this has been a good performance by Spate as it well. Has. I mean, he's danced about when he's needed to. He's got 
you know, got on his bike when he's needed to. He's tied him up. He's thrown a few back to keep himself in it. You know, it's, it's a good, good. It's a, it's an hard night's work, but it's a good, good journeyman's performance. Yes. Is it, Nigel Travis just uh, having a word with Kerry Kays there to come over, get ready to it. I think it's a little bit of work on Akib's left eye. He's got a bit of a swelling underneath it. Nothing much there. But, uh, it's a little nick in it, I think. Yeah, just get a little uh, end swell on that. Bit of Vaseline will be more than all right. Much there. Good venue this day, isn't it? It's what we were saying before. It's one of the best ones. The fighters love it because you can watch from the it's balcony. It's great because you can you can soak up the atmosphere and yeah. get a feel for it while you're up there, rather than you know being tucked away somewhere nine corridors away. It's uh, and it's warm. It's, you know sometimes the, the places you have to warm up are freezing, and it, uh, you know if you if you wanted to just do a bit and then sort of settle in between you're freezing cold in between each yeah. bit whereas here it's at least it's a, a reasonable temperature yeah quite but yeah it's great because you can get the atmosphere from up there and watch the other fights and stuff it's great yeah quite often you see the, the lads in the gloves hanging over a balcony just watching what's going on and more than happy to just uh, soak up the atmosphere as Stacey said sixth and final round here of a, a bit of a clinic from Akib Fias I think it to be honest, I think it's his best performance today. Really good. Yeah, he's, uh, I've been well impressed with him tonight. I'm pleased for him as well because, he's a, like I say, he's, a, he's a really he's just a really likable character. So, you know, I want, want him to do really well. <laughs> his fan base will just grow and grow. Yeah, bit of a resurgence in Oldham at the minute. We've got Akib Fiaz, sells a lot of tickets. There's Mark Efron, probably the, the leader at the moment, does a load of tickets. There's Jack Rafferty, sells a lot. Zach Miller did... 300 tickets on his debut in Oldham Sports Centre last week. Absolutely, and there's All some quality uh, amateurs as well, you know, quality. Will Corley and so on, that, who, who have yet to come through. You know, after the next Olympics, will be another another load turning over. There's, they've got a quality amateur base as well, so, it's, uh, yeah, it's good. It's been a bit starved, Oldham, recent years. Long gone of the days when you used to have Sky Shoals from Oldham on a, on a Saturday night, but a good group of young fighters bringing it back. Just wish I had a different venue than the sports centre. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of a warning here for hitting and holding, I think. I think it was uh, particularly behind the head. I think it, the spate was really creating that angle, to be honest. <laughs> And as a boxer, you're just going to throw, aren't you? Keep your job's to keep going till the referee. Absolutely. Talks. If they happen to turn, that's it's their fault, isn't it? He's getting taking some flush shots here, Akib. Yeah, he's uh, definitely set, he stepped up the intensity here, hasn't he? And we've just sent him out in the last round to see if he can get rid of him, and he's doing his very best to do that. The crowd are definitely behind him. It's good, you know, good to have them that crowd behind you, getting there, uh, raising the atmosphere. It's good. Brilliant performance, I think, Akib Fias. First, second to last there, showed us a little bit of everything. Um, can't give Spate even a share of... No, every single round, round quite comfortably there, and, and in good style as well. Six rounds of boxing. Referee Yaron Sargentson on this occasion has adjudged the contest 60 points, 254 points for your winner. No one defeated in four professional contests. Oh, and a brave and clever boxer as always. A safe journey home for Devon's the genius, Jamie Spade.
boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe, VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.